Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and I am here with a Timu haul today. So let's get started. Like how I said that really weirdly. <laughs> All right, first things first. Um, I think this is my ring holder. But look at that. So um, I may have to, I don't know. I, I don't want to pay for a damaged one, right? And that seems pretty damaged. But, yep. So inside, it's got all these um, spots for rings. Now, um, okay, I've got a couple rings down here. One thing about this, the, the, the slits are very close together. And I was trying to figure out how that would work, but the picture shows you going like every other. So see there's so, so this one takes up so much space. So then you'd put, well, you might lose a spot here. So this probably should go maybe the other direction. So it doesn't take up, I don't know, that didn't really help. <laughs> but anyway, you can, there's only really about room for two rings going across, not three. So then in the picture, it shows like doing two on the outside, one inside, two outside, one inside, that kind of thing. Now, <laughs> there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 14, 14 slits, and then there's three sections of slits. So, they, the listing probably says you can put more rings in here than you really can, but we'll see. But this, so this comes out and then it's just a, so I can kind of push it out, but I can't, I can't get rid of the, can't get rid of the divot. Does it matter since it's on the bottom? I don't know. I mean, no, but still, it's kind of a principle of the thing. But if we find it super cheap, then I probably won't care. Or if they make me actually return it, I probably won't care. But if they don't make me return it, then I'd really like to have one that's not damaged. If you know what I mean. So how's your day going so far? You have any cool stories to share with us in the comments? It's always fun to see when people comment on a video and then one of you comments to their comment, you know, and you get a little, a little bit going on there. That's kind of fun. Okay. I pay, oh my goodness, I paid $9.99 for this. That's expensive in Timu, in Amy's Timu world. I got four price adjustments and it says 42 slot ring organizer. Well, that's 42, there's 42 lines. So I guess it says with 50 plus ring capacity. So they are acknowledging that you can't do like three in every slot, but they are saying that, well, it's $8.99 today and they are saying it's a jewelry case for rings, earrings, brooches, and cufflinks. Cufflinks, man, do guys, uh, guys still wear cufflinks or girls or, you know, who, I know it's mostly guys, but is that still a thing? 
Is that only for kind of, that's not for casual wear, right? It's only for fancy wear. I don't know. But cufflinks. I've never looked. I should look to see if Timu sells cufflinks. They probably do. All right. So let me see if I can get a picture. Yeah. So here is where you kind of get the idea that you've got to alternate. So I'm kind of curious. I've got a whole bunch of rings. Some of my rings I'm, I keep in a kind of a, not Tupperware, but a, a plastic storage container that I got on Timu. And, but those are the ones that are short. So like my owl ring doesn't fit in there. So maybe this will end up being for more of my oversized rings. But what is going on here? Get this ring back in here. But yeah, I, uh, I'll be curious to see how many of my rings. I do have some of those actual ring display things, but I don't have the kind that comes in a case. I just have the, the display case part or the display. Well, well, it's still a case, but it doesn't have a lid. So those, when they're exposed to the elements, they tarnish a little quicker. So I kind of thought that this would be maybe a good idea, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not happy about that. And I can only assume that happened during shipping, but maybe not. Maybe it happened in the warehouse. Okay, I'm trying to get this back in so that it's ready. Shoot. Don't let me forget I put a ring in here that I didn't take out yet. I don't want to return it with the ring. Oh my gosh, I'm so going to return it with the ring. So take it out now. No, I'm not going to take it out now. I needed to give you guys your ASMR fix for the day. Oh. going to learn that stacked things don't stay stacked very well for very long. All right. Oh no. Did we already have, we already had one of these. So I hope it's not the same color. 11, 11. Okay, well, I guess I accidentally purchased that twice. I am going to return this one. I'm not even going to open it. Do I still have it down here? I still have it down here. I'm just going to, I'm going to put this, put it right here. So it is this color number 11. And it was that I still have some of it on. But I put some of the other over it, but it really didn't tame it down very well. But with this particular outfit, I think it looks okay. But it's a... I just don't think I need two of these in the exact same color. Ugh, I'm doing that more and more lately. Ordering things twice on accident. I'm not going to look up the price to that. We did that in the last video. Or one of the last videos. Alright, next... All right, some more bracelets. So I have the green set on right now. These are the, this is the green set. These were two green ones that I got with that pink and green set that I was like, well, I'll just leave them on. They go, kind of go together, but these are silver purple. And it's like a four piece set these kind of crystal beads and there's several different color variations on this so i've gotten the blue the green and now this purple silver these remind me of 
the Otter Spirit bracelets, kind of. And so far, so these two have been pretty good. They've their their bracelets have been the same size, but the blue one, the blue set I got, the solid blue one, which these neither one of these really have like it was a little bit smaller so it would kind of stay up here what the rest of them came down so that was a little frustrating but what do you expect right but they're still I mean you could easily make this yourself because places like Michael's have these kind of beads but not for as cheap okay I found the blue and the green one so I'm just going to go into it because they were all in the same listing all right, so I paid $2.19 and I got a price adjustment. And there are nine different color variations. So if you want to check that out. And it's currently $2.24. Do they change price based on color? No, they're all $2.24. It is a four-piece vintage style artificial crystal bracelet set. Multicolor refreshing elastic string women's hearty hand jewelry accessory. I love these. It's so easy to, I mean, you just put that on and you're, that's all you got to do, right? You're ready to go. It's great and easy for mornings where you have to go into the office or out just out of the house okay what is going on here you guys this is do you think customs did that open that up I've never had them open one of these before but somebody did hopefully it's not a return but it's like I want to be careful cutting this It feels like it might be a watch, but okay, yeah, it is a watch. So maybe, you know, they saw metal and decided they better open it. Oh, well, this one's kind of pretty. It's kind of a blue gray with rose gold accents. trying to think if this would be like a, a faux snakeskin but it's almost like a faux bamboo look and it's kind of got a beveled beveled edges here along the side that's pretty so my guess is they would say this is like a light gray but um, the, the band is, is rigid, but it's pretty. I just got to get used to wearing watches again and having things up on my, I wanted to say ankle bones, on my wrist bones. <sighs> I'm going to blame the whole nature of filming for why I say words like that, the wrong words at the wrong time. It's very easy to do. It's kind of, I mean, the whole time, well, for me, probably not most people, but the whole time I'm thinking, don't say, um, don't say, um, don't say, um, so that I don't say ankle instead of wrist. It's almost like public speaking, except for the fact that you guys are out there and so I'm not having to pretend you're naked or any of that kind of stuff. It's like, I don't know, I had to take speech in college and it was okay. I didn't, I had... 
I, it took me 10 years to finish college because I did two and a half years and then I stopped and then I went back and almost 10 years later and did the last year and a half. And it was during the last year and a half part that I had my speech class. So by then I'd had a lot more life experience and a lot more business experience and a lot more confidence, I guess you could say. And the things that I would do speeches on, like I worked in a public library at the time. And so one of my speeches was on the benefits of the public library and all the things that you could do for free to save money. And, and because I was kind of well versed in that, it was okay. Now, if I had to give a speech on something I didn't know about, well, for one, nobody would ever ask me to give a speech on something I don't know about. But, um, I don't know, I guess there's some level of confidence, but like when I was growing up, I would sing at church and sometimes I would sing with my parents, sometimes I would sing with a choir and sometimes I would do special music by myself. And I'm an introvert and every time I would sing by myself, I was fine singing because it wasn't my words, you know, it's so I'm just singing. But every time after I would be done singing, I wished that I was like standing on a trap door <laughs> on the stage that would just lower me down because you always had to walk down off the stage and you had to walk down one of the aisles and there was people on both sides of the aisles and I just felt like people were staring at me. Now they might have been, you know, to smile, you know, and you know, like the way you can smile, like, hey, good job kind of smile. But I, I like didn't want people looking at me, which then, you know, why were you up there singing? Well, because I like to sing, but I, I just hated that walking down the aisle afterwards. And I don't know. I don't know if that, I haven't had to sing or I haven't sang special music for years now because that's not really a thing in the kind of churches that I go to anymore. Uh so I don't know how I'd feel about that, if I would be better at that now, because I, I can. But all of that to say that this is like public speaking, but obviously way easier. And if I totally screwed up in this, I just wouldn't air it. So although there is something to be said for airing. I mean, unless you just, I mean, I don't think, I don't think I would really do this because I don't, I don't know. I guess I try to pay attention to what I'm saying so I don't just really tick a whole bunch of people off while I'm talking. Because you could easily do that, right? Everybody has some pretty big opinions on things. But I don't know. I try to keep it kind of docile over here, over here in the, in the loo. All right, um, <laughs> back to the watch. The watch is, what did I pay? It's currently $2.99. I paid $2.99, but I did get a price adjustment. This is blue, believe it or not. There is a gray, so the gray would be grayer than the blue. And there is a total of eight different colors. And you can also get some sets combinations of them but it's a casual round pointer quartz watch ladies fashion analog pu leather wrist watch for women and students there you have it but yeah you kind of need to just like with shoes you kind of need to break in the the band so that it doesn't you know feel weird on your wrist or your ankle wherever you're going to wear your, wherever you're going to wear your watch. So Timu doesn't, I, I haven't gotten any bag, any frosted Timu bags for a long time, but I of course saved all the ones I have. So when I do get packages in because I'm on a budget and you don't have to ration out my products, I stick them in these bags because then I can hold that up and not worry about showing my address, blah, blah, blah. All right, next, I told you guys I love these Christmas pop-up cards. And the kids really used a lot of these last year when I bought them. So 
figured I would get another set. Now this time they are more expensive this year, I found. I don't know why I'm talking so loud. They are more expensive this year. So I was, like last year I used to get sets of six, but this year, or at least this time, I got a set of five. So we've got two red, but then a green, yellow, and blue. I'll just open one of them. All of the envelopes though are shimmery. You can kind of see that. And they all seem to be in really good shape. That's one thing when you buy the sets of them, it, it makes a pretty sturdy packaging. So they usually make it pretty, pretty good. You guys will have to let me know. I know a lot of channels do a Christmas card exchange. I did not do one of those last year, but let me know. I do have a post office box at the moment. I don't know how long I'll keep that, but maybe I could keep it long enough to get through Christmas if you guys want to do a Christmas card exchange. So let me know. All right, so we've got Merry Christmas. The thing to note about Timu envelopes is they never have a lick em to stick em. You have to use your own adhesive. And, oh, isn't that cute? Gives you a little spot to write on and then your pop-up card. So yeah, I like these. I, I mean, it's different and pop-up cards in the grocery store would be super expensive. So it doesn't come with any writing in it. So you only, you're only getting whatever is on the outside of the card, but you don't really need as much for Christmas, right? Especially if you're just going to, you could tape a gift card in there. And unless you're the kind of family that, you know, updates all your friends on what happened to your family during the year, then you really don't need much space. All right, so a set of five cards. And I paid $3.95, so that's an excellent price for a pop-up card. And they're currently $3.91. And they all have a different image or different pop-up in them. So if you're the kind of person that likes to send out the same Christmas card to everybody, don't do this. I know some people prefer that. Oh, and I did get three price adjustments if I didn't say. So that's a good deal. Next. Oh, some more green. We like green. I never had a family member, at least not a, a direct ancestor. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say I've never had a family member in the army, but I probably have when you go, if you go back far enough. Um, I know I had, I've, since I do genealogy, I've tracked some back to the Civil War. So I know I've had at least one relative in the Civil War and you really didn't have, okay, this may show my ignorance, but I don't think you really had the Marines, the Navy and the Air, well, you didn't have the Air Force back then. So anyway, why was I saying all this? Oh, because I really like green, but I don't have any like reason to wear camouflage other than the fact that I like it. But this is not camouflage. This is just a really pretty kind of sweater. So it's a kind of a checkerboard pattern that goes all the way down the sleeves. And then it's got a, it comes together in a really thin knit at the bottom and kind of a crew neck. And then at the very bottom, it's got a pretty decent size. So I'm hoping it's kind of slimming. It, 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 it looks small to me, but I'm trying, as long as it doesn't like show all my stomach rolls, we'll be okay. But it does feel kind of small. So now I'm kind of curious what size this is. 
and maybe because it's really it's a really thin sweater maybe this ends up being my shirt in a layering scheme where I can then wear something over this on a particularly cold day maybe but I like how because of the pattern it kind of shimmers a little bit so so yeah okay let's see so it's not quite the same color as this so it I don't know I could probably get away with wearing these glasses with it because of the separation but I bet I would find probably need to find maybe my acorn the one that fades from like green to pink that might be a good one that goes with this we'll see but let's see what I paid for this and what size it is because it does look small okay I paid 1028 and I got two price adjustments it comes in sizes small to XXL and I got the XXL which is the size I normally get so it is just a tighter fit or a yeah see it says checker pattern slim fit pullover sweater elegant solid color crew neck long sleeve top for spring and fall and this is what it looks like on her so yeah <coughs> it's definitely not designed to be baggy I just have to hope that the giving the fact that I gave birth and have stomach rolls <laughs> does not show through on this I don't know I I still can be kind of self-conscious about that but I think this is a really pretty sweater so if it fits, I will model this on a future video for you guys. Oh, and speaking of what I'm wearing today, well, this is a, a, a t-shirt from like when I was heavier. <laughs> so it's pretty big, but it, it's comfy. But um, from my kids Christian church camp and well, I showed you guys the bracelets and the rings are all new, but this is my, I'm wearing the olive the olive frame for my pair eyewear. The links for all these Timu products and my referral code for pair eyewear are down below. All right, back to it. Okay, well, I haven't ordered this one before, but it's another lipstick. Um, so it looks like, looks like that. It's a cute little, it says lipstick. It's a cute little container. Oh, wow. Look at that sparkle. So... Oh man, it looks like, like if you look at it closely, it looks like a disco ball. Like you can see the individual, there's no way I'm going to be able to get you guys to see this. Um, yeah, it won't focus that quite that closely. But it looks like I'm looking at a disco ball. So they've had a, some kind of a, either their mold or something because I can see like the lines you know like the little pieces that's kind of wild well let's see what this I'm not going to take this lipstick off because my guess is we won't really be able to tell what oh um okay so it's really shimmery it's oranger than I was expecting like this seems more purple but then when it's actually on it's pretty orange but that might be okay that might be a good color actually so I'll I will probably well not probably I will be trying this I kind of wonder sometimes with glittery 
like is that good on um for mature skin let's say it that way is is glitter a good thing for mature skin or is it enhance the wrinkles in your lips let me know I mean obviously when I try it on I'll, I'll form my own opinion but I'm curious I'm curious like what people would say I don't know I, I remember I mean, it's still kind of like that but it used to be super popular as you aged you would go blonder and blonder and blonder and tanner and tanner and tanner and then uh, more like glitter and stuff I don't know that's probably reminiscent of a day a day gone by I don't know that women are quite as much into that now maybe <coughs> but I don't want to be like people talking like oh my gosh what is she doing on her lips okay this I paid three fourteen, and I know you guys are telling me I'm thinking too much. I know I need to. I shouldn't think so much. There are six, ten. There's ten different colors. Some of them are sold out. This, the color I got is color zero three, and they've got a. Is that black or is it brown? kind of looks black but it's sold out so I won't show you but let's look at color three to see if you can really see the I don't know the frosty right we used to call it frosted lipstick and I feel like you can really see but I guess it would be kind of the same for matte lipstick too right so one piece metallic glitter lipstick, long lasting waterproof, non fade lip makeup, shimmery pearl, non fade. Well, I got it off my hand pretty easily, but I was rubbing it with a paper towel. So maybe that makes a difference. Who knows? It's a, I think it is a pretty color. So we'll just have to see. All right, we've got a free gift in this bag for one of you to win. These are psychedelic, whatever, some kind of psychedelic stickers. <laughs> psychedelic frogs. So I, I didn't want to just do, I mean, most of the time I've been doing kind of vintagey stickers. Well, this time I just decided to go with something that maybe would appeal to some different, a different group of people. So let's go with psychedelic frogs. I like frogs. They are glossy. They are waterproof. So you could put these on your drinkware or your laptops or your phones, your skateboards. So yeah, so that's cute. So we'll say the keyword for this will just be frogs, plural, frogs. And let me write that down. I do the drawings for these free gifts on Sundays for anything that aired. Where did the, oh, here we go. For anything that aired during the week with a free gift. You can live anywhere to win this. Just put frogs in your comment below. There are 50 frogs in here. Now this is pretty light, so I'm pretty sure I can get all of these in a one ounce envelope. But if for some reason I can't, it'll get split up into two winners. I paid $1.61 and got a price adjustment. And they are currently $139. And I just really thought they were pretty because of all the bright colors. But it's 50 pieces, psychedelic frog, animal, cute, funny, doodle, cool cartoon, waterproof stickers. 
so yeah I think those are cute so that is just I got those as a thank you for watching my videos so some lucky person will win that next we have another shirt or a shirt I haven't really had I mean the other one was a sweater wasn't it oh it's super soft and it is a well it's a tank top but it's like a fall these are like fall colors right so I thought I would be able to easily pair this with a sweater and jeans and sometimes I know you can get patterned turtlenecks and long sleeve shirts but sometimes I like the like the weight or the coverage that a tank top and a sweater gives that's not quite as hot as a tank or as a full you know full on full sleeve shirt with a sweater but I these these are my colors kind of and so I like this and I, I just really like this pattern this floral pattern and you can probably find a turtleneck with this specific pattern too but yeah so this will look great with jeans and a sweater maybe if I get a kind of sweater like one of these colors because I don't want to wear it with one of my springy summery sweaters since it's more fall colors and I do have a like a winter sweater this color but I want to add I want to add some color but yeah, it's super, super soft. I love it. And I'm getting happier and happier with polyester. Okay, I paid $3.98. That's the other thing that I like, right? Because a tank top is cheaper than a long sleeve shirt. And as long as, and you know, sweaters you can wear with multiple shirts and stuff so I, I don't know I guess I just get a cheaper shirt and spend the money on the sweater that you can use with lots of things so I I paid if I didn't say I paid $3.98 I think I did say and it's available in sizes small to XXL I got the XXL they're calling the color apricot because that's the new khaki and that's the only design that this seller is offering in this listing it's currently 418 which is still a good price and it's a great way to blend your jean and your brown kind of colors and it's a floral print crew neck tank top sleeveless casual top for summer and spring women's clothing well I think it can be year-round because they're muted colors I mean, she's wearing them with shorts, if you can call those shorts, but I think it, I think it definitely works, works good for fall too. Okay, so I think this is the last item. Yes. And I think it's another pair of jeans because apparently you need a pair of jeans for every day of the year, or at least I seem to to act like it okay so these are a little bit kind of a darker blue than the other jeans that I've got but you can see we've got some um oh these are kind of like are they yes these are very similar although not the same to the white jeans that I really like they aren't the same though because these are thicker than the white ones but anyway you've got your button-up fly and with kind of white kind of white um like the super silvery silver and then you've got some distressing on these little things which is great because that doesn't show anything and then you've got it where it's worn and then all the way to the bottom where we've got this kind of 
Um, now my toenails are probably going to get stuck in that. Oh, and you can see how stretchy it is. But I like jeans that kind of come. So you could, you know, match this up with some ankle high boots. Kind of, kind of deal. This one's a little bit weird over here just because of how it's, but that, that'll probably come out in the wash. And then the back is just plain. So, I'm always telling you guys, I try to get some that are a little bit different. So this one would be different from my other blue jeans because of kind of this. And they're darker. They're darker than the other. Because we just saw some jeans on this channel that kind of had a bottom like this a little bit. But these are darker. So, I love Timu jeans. I, I can't say that enough. And kind of goes with my blue shirt, although I bet I have some jeans that would look better with this particular blue. But still works. All right, so then let's find the jeans and then then you can be back to your regular life. Okay, which way? I guess we need to go down. Is that them? Maybe. All right. I paid $13.19. I got two price adjustments. These are deep blue. They're available in sizes extra small to extra, extra large, which is nice. You don't normally see a lot of excess sizing on here, so that's nice for those of you on that end of the spectrum. Or your kids. If you've got a tall, young kid, maybe that needs a smaller size, but still legs, that might be a good option. They are currently 1286 and they are single breasted button skinny jeans, ripped holes, raw hem, casual tight jeans. I think it's funny because I got that pair of jeans that was double breasted. So it, it was like the sailor jeans that where they, it, the, there was two sets of buttons that go up like this. So it's funny seeing one called single breasted button. I don't know. That just seems like a weird way to say that. But yeah, I'm learning all kinds of things doing these hauls, right? All these interesting descriptions and trying to think of words on the fly and blah, blah, blah. Now, let me ask you this. Now, I know... I know we aren't, most of us are not in the age range of Swifties, right? But Swifties, like, wear a ton of these, like, their whole arm is, like, like, I could literally just wear this and nobody would bat an eye. Like, would you guys wear that many of them together? Maybe mix them up a little bit more so it's not... Or maybe not. Maybe you'd have it so it's kind of flowing color-wise. But yeah, would you wear would you wear all these at once? Ah, question for the day. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and sharing some of your time with me. I know your time is valuable, so I really, really appreciate when you um, stop by. If you're new, welcome. I hope you consider coming back or subscribing or commenting. And I just love reading everybody's comments kind comments. And um, yeah, so this has been and continues to be a fun journey for me. And I suppose at some point when it's not a fun journey, I'll stop, but I'm not there yet. So I will see you again tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you are too. So wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. And until we meet again, take care of yourself. Bye.